Pisces, welcome to your reading for the period of June 1st to June 7th. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can make that happen. If you are viewing this on YouTube, there will be a link below which will take you to your weekly extra where it will cover love, career, finance, and health. Also, check out my playlist. My 2020 Sun Moon predictions are there. What is your ideal career based on your Midheaven sign? Compatibility with your partner based on their Sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Okay, so we're starting off the energies prior to June 1st to June 7th. And I'm getting actually the word that i heard was naysayers so i feel like you have some naysayers around you who are in the habit of kind of talking you down telling you things to kind of trip you up i'm kind of seeing that across the board here um but here you are kind of getting out of your head and i feel like there's somebody who um this is naysayer number one actually there's just two of them that i'm seeing um and this is somebody who tries to emotionally manipulate you okay so when it comes to your emotions they're really good at pushing your buttons they're really good at persuading you um i i feel like they keep you emotional hostage based on how they behave so you know maybe they're jealous or maybe they're moody or um they could even be alcoholic or you know something similar to that and what I feel like is you're breaking free from this person mentally at any rate. I think you're realizing that this person had a hold on you um, and because they, they really know how to push your buttons and what have you, but then you had the clarity, the mental clarity to say to yourself, you know what, I'm the one that chooses how this person's gonna affect me. So I feel like you logically kind of thought this out and decided you're not gonna have this anymore. So um, instead of letting this person kind of influence you, you have decided to let go of the old like behavioral patterns that you had with this person and kind of looking back on how it hasn't served you, how it's kind of affected things. And you decide to kind of, you know, move forward and liberate yourself from this person and also from the influence, negative influence they're having over you. Um, Cause it seems like they, they never tell you nice things and it's just all about them. Okay. And when they don't kind of get you to behave the way that, that, um, they want you to, they'll escalate their behavior until they can get a reaction out of you or get you to do their bidding. Um, so you, you broke free from this person and I feel like you found your happiness. With 10 of cups, you're beautiful. So it might be with a person, it might be in a situation, um, you might be really fulfilled in work. I mean, it's ideal. It's the happiest you have ever been. All right. Um, and you almost can't believe it. So, you know, it's a typical situation you wanted um, person. Maybe you want to have a family with um, maybe the ideal job you always wanted to have your dream job. Um, but that's what I'm kind of getting. And then we have naysayer number two. So we have this queen of swords here. Could be the same person over here. Could be somebody different. The, this king of cups is more is a male energy, masculine energy. This is more feminine. But this person's really... I, manipulates you with words okay so while the king of cups over here is doing it emotionally this person is doing it with their words and they're saying things that really cut you to the core um they'll come out and they'll say things to just slice you um it can be bitter they don't have any compassion you know steely comments you know um almost like you look at them and you're like well, did you really say that and i think it's in in respect to this situation you have now so I don't know if this person is jealous because you're in a really good situation, but you know, they're telling you it's not going to work out. What are you thinking? Um, really, really mean stuff, like I said, and, and, and just attacking you out of nowhere um, just because you're happy. So it's someone who, who they have a problem on their end and they want to project that on you. Now, as we, as we move out of this is what I don't like to see because I'm worried about that. As you move out of that week, I feel like these people end up affecting your situation. I'm hesitating because I don't want to be the person that's fair or bad news. It actually affects your situation that you're in. Um, and the situation that you thought was so great, was so stable, doesn't end up happening. So um you know either you know if it's a relationship the person decides they don't want to stick around um you know or it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't pan itself out 
is what I feel like because the Ace of Wands is here and that's kind of like something that goes away before it even starts. You know, it's kind of like a lead balloon. It kind of like flies up and then kind of lands, you know, and splats. Um, and this person, and I know that this King of Pentacles is a person. So, you know, whether it's in work or, or relationship or what have you, I tend to think it's more relationship. It could be even friendship or something like that, but it is a person. They're actually influenced by the, these people. I almost feel like these people are family members and this person being exposed to them, they just kind of decide, I don't really want this. Um, and before they were committed, you know, they were all about it, but it just seems like these people are really spiteful and that they have a hard time kind of dealing with it. I don't know if it's because their spite is directed towards them. I don't know if this person doesn't like how they speak to you and if you allow it or, or whatever that dynamic is, but they're, they're no longer committed to this anymore and they no longer want to do it. So um, it seemed like it had all the promise and then all of a sudden it didn't happen. And I think it was because of these people. So, I mean, my advice to you would be to nip this in the bud. Um, you know, I could even see this a, a friend and you have these other friends, for instance, that are kind of like this and you have a really good friend who you're really happy being with, but then they're influenced by them. And it's that kind of dynamic. So I would kind of nip this in the bud and have conversations with these people that are the naysayers, or at the very least just say, hey, if this is what your behavior is gonna be like, I don't necessarily know that we can continue to be in contact because it's really negatively influencing me and this person that's really important to me, whoever that person is, or affecting my job. It could easily be your job too. Um, so that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. My email is below. Just send me an email. We can set that up. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click on the link below where you'll get your love, career, finance, and health reading. And check out my playlist. 2020 Sun Moon predictions are in there. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? Uh, your compatibility with your partner sun sign. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.